Hello people, in this video let us look at the list of top priority questions in general medicine and trying to look at it chapter wise. So um, you have um, in poisoning, you have organophosphorus poisoning, poisoning very important. Remember that it is cholinergic. So there will be meiosis, sweating, lot of secretions, etc. Coming to uh, infectious diseases, guys. Infectious diseases, you have to learn about typhoid, dengue, leprosy, syphilis, very important. Typhoid, dengue, leprosy, syphilis, very important. And then coming to um, nephrology, you should know about nephrotic syndrome. And uh, in nephrotic syndrome, basically what will be there? There will be heavy proteinuria. There will be uh, frothy urine, fatty cars, etc. And uh, you should know the uh, that it is greater than 3.5 uh, gram per day, right, of protein protein then coming to uh, other things uh, renal failure very important we have separate videos on each of this you can look at that coming to cardiology people uh, in cardiology atrial fibrillation very important because atrial fibrillation can lead to stroke then infective endocarditis you should know about osseous node rot spots gene wheel lesions etc you should mention those acute myocardial infarction you should know how to treat right um, uh, and how? What are the signs? What will you see in S, uh, the ECG, STEM, uh, ST elevation, etc. Heart failure will lead to what? Heart failure will lead to uh, edema. So you should know about generalized edema, etc. Then coming to hypertension. Secondary hypertension means there is a cause. Like it can be pheochromocytoma, uh, thyroid, thyroid, thyrotoxicosis, etc. Like we told you, for each of this, we have separate video. Okay. Now, uh, then uh, we are talking about uh, respiratory medicine. Okay, uh, guys, we are moving on to respiratory. Please focus here. In respiratory, you should know about bronchial asthma, how to distinguish from emphysema, etc. The FEV1, etc. Right, forced expiratory volume, etc. You should know how it will increase in asthma after giving salbutamol. Multidrug resistance tuberculosis. Now, what are you giving for that? Um, Betaquilin, uh, all those drugs, you should mention the newer drugs, how they work, etc. Pneumothorax, uh, uh, all this we have separate video like we told you. So, uh, pneumothorax, you have uh, tension pneumothorax where it will go on, um, the breathlessness will be progressive, etc. So, you should know how the air will continue to build up, right? It is a one-way valve kind of a thing. Acu uh, a community acquired pneumonia, you should know what are the organisms causing, how will you treat, how, what is severe pneumonia, etc. And pediatrics also, you would have learned that. Acute respiratory distress syndrome, you should know. Again, same uh, treatment usually is same for most of the respiratory cases, oxygen, etc. Now, let's move on to endocrinology, people. So, what are the important questions in endocrinology? Endocrinology, Addison's disease, that is primary um, thyroid uh, insufficiency, right? Sorry, adrenal insufficiency is Addison's disease. So, all that you will have to mention, what will happen in Addison's disease if they have less uh, steroids, etc., what will happen? So, they'll have uh, low bl blood pressure, right? And then... Uh, Less glucose they will have, right? And then have less sodium they will have. They'll have more potassium. Just write the reverse of uh, Cushing syndrome, etc. Okay. Then coming to thyrotoxicosis, thyrotoxic uh, storm. Basically, you will explain how they have a very increased heart rate, etc. How will you manage uh, uh, thyrotoxic crisis? All that you have to write. Symptomatic usually treatment and then they will have to give antithyroid drugs, etc. Cushing syndrome, exactly opposite of Addison's you can write. Then uh, diabetic coma, diabetic ketoacidosis. What will you give? You will give potassium, uh, KCL. You will give insulin. You will give insulin. Um, something else, right? I'm forgetting. See, in diabetic person, you can have uh, coma uh, or uh, because of uh, hypoglycemia or hyperglycemia in that you have uh, two types, right? What are those two types? You can have coma with ketosis, that is diabetic ketoacidosis. Then you can hyperosmolar coma also, you should know. So here we are. So then look at um, uh, gastroenterology. Okay, in gastroenterology, what are important? Acute pancreatitis important. Uh, pancreatitis will lead to pseudocyst, all that you know. How to manage antibiotics, when will you give, all that you should know. Ulcerative colitis, basically you should know the difference between this and prawns. And uh, ulcerative colitis is a little more manageable because it is continuous and uh, it is superficial only. Helicobacter pylori, you should know about the triple drug therapy. That is uh, some drug starting with O, right? This one, omeprazole, clarithromycin, metronidazole, right? So this is no triple drug therapy. Then you have quadruple drug therapy, bismuth, subsalicate, metronidazole, tetracycline. You should always keep doing this breath test, urea breath test. Then coming to irritable bowel syndrome, this is one of the places where they refer the patient to other forms of medicine like Ayurveda, etc. Now coming to uh, hepatic encephalopathy, this is because of ammonia, so you should always give lactulose so that the person will purge, so he will not uh, accumulate ammonia. Then coming to spontaneous bacterial peritonitis, this is something to do with uh, E. coli, uh, etc. So uh, you will have to do acetic fluid analysis. 
neutrophil count etc you should know about cirrhosis of liver uh, can happen because of alcohol or because of, of lot of other causes complications same hepatic encephalopathy and lot of other um, uh, uh, what is they call it stigmata all that you can mention then coming to blood transfusion therapy you should know that blood is split into red cells and then platelets and then also these uh, uh, fresh frozen plasma etc which you can give with the, which will have clotting factors coming to iron deficiency anemia it is microcytic remember even thalassemia is uh, microcytic microchromic and um, Uh, you should know about always you will try to give uh, iron oral iron therapy if it doesn't work only parenteral and only in emergency cases they are giving blood transfusion then coming to rheumatoid arthritis so we are talking about rheumatology and bone disease this is about um, uh, immune system right rheumatoid arthritis you should know it usually is bilateral kind of conditions early morning stiffness etc you can mention then coming to uh, guys how is it going okay focus here systemic lupus erythematosus in this you will have to talk about uh, uh, why does it happen in whom women <clears throat> right and uh, butterfly rash so all that you can mention about systemic lupus erythematosus so usually they will go into renal failure etc all that you can mention neurology what is important for you is uh, status epilepticus very important even in pediatrics how will you manage you'll have to talk about uh, uh, midazolam lorazepam uh, phenytoin valproate and lot of drugs like that uh phenobarbital comes then general anesthesia etc migraine drugs used prophylaxis you can talk about propranolol amitriptyline right a uh, lot of prophylaxis how actually you treat is uh, uh what is the drug or something rezatriptan right all that you should write in the exam okay uh, ergotamine those products are used lumbar puncture l3 l4 right yeah l3 l4 remember and when you should not do when you should do lumbar puncture very important then uh, pyogenic meningitis so basically you should know the organisms which cause and different months and ages in which it affects like listeria then you have uh, hemophilus streptococcus will affect all ages so very important to know pyogenic meningitis nisseria okay gonorrhea in nisseria meningitis is all those now coming to scabies you should know the treatment of scabies py, uh, permethrin right permethrin then you should know about the other uh, treatment for scabies we'll mention a few wait malathion bhc uh that is lindane is it ivermectin also so that's what they are talking about scabies it is an ectoparasite the organism which is causing is what it is uh, sarcoptes scabii it's a mite okay if you go to dermatology department and attend no the only scabies cases only will come every day so many okay now let's continue with um, uh uh then a dermatology over oncology oncology tumor markers very important serum tumor markers you should know thyroid the breast uh, which serum um, tumor markers will be there okay coming to psychiatry schizophrenia is very important guys so you can focus on schizophrenia okay so basically this is a psychosis very difficult for uh, treatment also so this is the list of top priority questions in general medicine for mbbs uh, so please look at this so hope you will uh, benefit from this video people we'll meet you in the next video bye bye